Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a sunset painting. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. In our 9 by 12 uh, Manila envelope here, we are providing a 8 by 8 canvas. You have a flat brush as well as a mechanical pencil. We upped the number of kits, so a few folks have these older giveaway mechanical pencils. The rest have just some basic ones from the Dollar Tree. And then we've got our summary palette of colors here. A dark blue, a turquoise blue, an orange, a peach for our sands a yellow, and a white. So really, on the example, we did a very kind of um, basic beachside scene with our sun setting. Uh, originally, when I thought of this particular um, project, I was thinking something even more simplistic, something like this, where we're really giving it just some basic lines as well, and our sun is setting below the horizon in this particular one, and then just some matching lines above it. So if you wanted to do something along these lines, you do have the colors, you'd be able a darker blue, a lighter blue, and then a mix between like the two blues, maybe a little bit of white to get a third color here. Um, this peach, the yellow and the orange you've got, and then you could mix to get this additional color as well. So I'm gonna go pretty fast with this one for this tutorial video, definitely take more time on yours. Um, first, I'm gonna wanna decide where my horizon line is how far up. So for this particular one, I think I'm going to go right about half, give myself some good beach area. I'm going to stick with that um, sort of simplistic beachy scene for this particular tutorial. Um, now I want my sun. I'm going to decide is it below the horizon, how far above the horizon is. Um, additionally to the supplies, I've got myself a little cup of water. So I'm going to go ahead and use that cup of water to make the circle for my son here. And of course this little side over here is a little bit awkward, but that's all right. I can kind of sketch that back out. Erasing as I need to, and it comes off pretty good. Um, I've got some paper towel for cleaning off my brushes if I need to. And so I'm just gonna add my shoreline in. So I'm gonna come back here. We've got a piece of the beach that comes out really Far, and then for this one, I'm going to bring my water back that way. Really, that's the basic design. You could do um, something that was more of a river, so having pieces of land on either side and just your water kind of coming down the center, um, up to you. So I also will mix some paint. Um, so I'm just going to use, I've got a um, old tablecloth, plastic tablecloth covering my work surface. So I'll be able to use that um, just to kind of mix paints in since I'll be able to throw this away. You could also do this with like a um, plastic trash bag or something like that. So I've got my canvas here. I'm going to go ahead and open my paints. And I know I am going to want to take some of my aqua blue and some of this white and mix them together. Actually, a little more white because I really want a lighter, lighter for the sky. Uh, definitely, I'm going to take some of this aqua blue and mix it with my darker blue. So I've got that there. Just mix those guys together. Give myself a good color. Mix my blue and my white together. Get myself a good color there. There we go. We're getting it really mixed together. Use my paper towel to wipe off this because I definitely am going to want um, some of my yellow mm -hmm. mixed with some of my orange to get myself a little bit more of a warmer orangey yellow there for when I do my setting sun. But really, when I start painting, the first color I'm going to probably start with is um, my sand color here. So this this nice peach color that's kind of a sandy taupe and I'm just going to put a real basic layer 
Part of the reason we included the flat brush is so that we could come right across this horizon line and it might be a little bit easier to pull in that line straight across. Um, if you've got, if you have participated in previous canvas projects, you may have some of the other brushes like a um, medium round brush that you could use on this painting for some of your details. Just going to make sure I don't have too any places where the paint is really kind of um, thick. I'm just doing a real straightforward line. I'm not too worried about how the edge of my land gets in there and the, the edge of my beach that is something as we know the those as the tide comes in and out it changes so as my painting goes through that line that it might change as we go and I'm not too also not too worried about any small pieces or places where the white of the canvas might be showing through um, because that'll just give a little bit of dimension to my sand and my beach area here excellent so I'm gonna go ahead and clean my brush off from that because now I want to start on my sky. I want to go right around um, the sun and then go into the sun, paint the sun on lap afterwards because it is a bit more of a darker color. And so if I come into my sun area with this blue, it won't, I can cover it up once I paint the sun in there. Again, just coming straight across my horizon line there but I don't want to get too much or any of the sand color on my paintbrush just yet. So I'm going to do this top really a thin line and paint. And this acrylic really does continue and blend pretty well if you keep at it. I'm going to bring my brush again, flatten and come straight around my sun it over I've got a little bit of paint on that side coming back and this is just this first layer of the sky I'm gonna come back in and give it some more colors um, that'll kind of really make it look a little bit more like we're at the the sky does as it's setting get a lot more colors into the sky darken up this top part here as we as the Sun dips towards the horizon and I've got a little bit of this brown coming up, but again, I'm not too worried because I'm really going to be blending my sky colors together with some others up here. But I do want to make sure that I've got paint all the way to the edge. There we go. There, that's nice. All right. So since I've already been working with blue, um, I'm going to go ahead on to my ocean um, and really just get this aqua... Um, color on its own so it's a little bit brighter than here the one that I put the white added the white to to lighten it up and get started with that C color coming right along there and to my where I meet my shore here pulling back that extra paint so that it's a nice even coverage Excellent. All right, maybe a little more there. Beautiful. And everyone's is going to look a little different. So if yours is not looking exactly like mine, no worries here. Again, I'm this is just this first color. I'm going to give um, some more depth to my water with some other colors a little later on. I'm going to clean off some of that blue here, though. And I'm going to give my sun a nice base of the bright yellow just by itself. Right around that circle again, using the flat of the brush to curve through and make that line, flipping over to get the paint that's on the other side, and then just kind of pulling towards the center so that I get all of those lines covered. Here we are. All right, and then I've got my orange that I mixed with yellow here. I've got a little bit more yellow on my brush. So we'll brighten that up just a bit. And then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna darken my sun for the setting sun color. 
real nice deep reddish orange as it's heading towards the horizon at the beach. All right, there we go. Coming around. See, I've got a bit of paint at my edges here. I'm just going to try and get my brush right at the edge and pull it in so that it's a pretty thin coating of yellow. And you're going to see some of those brush strokes if, it, if you have extra. And I can always um, pull that off some, come back around. All right. Come back with the cleaned off brush with no paint that will kind of pull some of that through some more. There we go. Excellent. Get a little bit of that blue that's come in. And I'm going to go ahead and give myself a little bit of this color here. Just a little bit and then I'm going to blend it in for some reflection of this sun off the water. Again, that's just the first. I'll come back with nothing on my brush and really blend that in because now I definitely want to darken some parts of the sea here. So I'm going to get my, my aqua and darker blue. And I'm going to come out at this edge and I'm going to give some darkness. Just a real dry brushing kind of technique where I'm just pulling just a small amount of paint through to blend in and getting some darker shades in my water as it pulls through there yeah now we've got a real a lot more of a different color between the sky and the ocean again my sun's coming down so I want to darken the top part of my sky a little bit. So I'm going to grab some of the darker blue on my brush. Um, probably really only a little bit because I just want to kind of come across this upper part and I'm going to start blending this in. So that darker sky, if you chose to bring your horizon kind of way down, um, you could do an even darker part at the top here to where um, your sun and sky you're really starting to get that night sky you've got white paint you could even throw some um, stars up in there so I've got this kind of darker sky darkening skies coming down but that's a little too dark so I'm just gonna come back with some white and blend as well to lighten that up some and really coming down into the lighter color and back up to bring those colors into it all the way Again, back again as I, into the, the lighter color of the sky and back up. So we really get that kind of changing of the sky. Even if I get a little bit of this orangish yellow into here, uh, I can come back over. A bit of a halo of that yellow in the sky. Beautiful. Now, another piece that I did for this, which was kind of fun, and I'm going to go ahead and do it now, although I'd probably wait for some of this paint to dry, was I came through and gave us a few waves. So just a line of the wave coming into the shore, maybe an extra little one out a little farther, just a little bit of white paint on the tip of my brush, and then I'm going to come back through and I'm going to give those that wave breaking, so pulling some of that white back, maybe even coming back forward after I had gone towards the right of my canvas to give us kind of that, that wave breaking towards this, the shore here. Just blending, you can always come back with more color this aqua if I need to lighten up an area I'm going to bring it back to a color that I like a little better we're kind of losing our our reflection there in the white cap of the waves and then I mean you can always just personalize it however you'd like um, for this one maybe I'll put a little towel 
or blanket on the beach for some summer reading or stargazing or watching this beautiful sunset. A little bit of white on my brush here, just really the smallest, even less than that. Just kind of give it some fringe at the outside. Maybe a little design on your towel. And there you have it, a sunset painting. We hope you enjoy this canvas projects. We, as always, look forward to seeing what you've painted and look forward to next month's video. Thanks for watching.